Hi guys, welcome back to another video, and this video is going to be a response to a previous video I made about the uh, CarPlay unit for your Mark 7 Golf. So if you haven't watched that video, uh, check that out first. And this is going to be a fitment video because um, I've been getting a lot of responses of people that are actually having issues with getting the, um, the OEM unit with the CarPlay cables and the CarPlay module, how to get it back tucked in behind the glove box. I'm gonna give you some tips, and uh, it wasn't actually, it's, it's not actually very hard, but you need to know what to do. Now, if you have installed the, the CarPlay unit with the supplied cables, these cables, um, this is the new module, obviously. You get this one in the box. These are the new cables, and you have to route these cables like to right here. And if you go above here, you actually end up in this hole here above. So the hole is here, but um, let's just say in the, in, the, in the ceiling here. So the new cables, this is the new cable. This plugs into your OEM unit. This big fat plastic piece, you actually have to route this through this ceiling because there is no other way. Here in the back, there's no room. So this big black block, you have to put this in the ceiling. Now this, this requires some prying, but it, uh, it worked for me. So it should work for you as well. It's a big part. I have quite a big hands, I believe. Okay, so I already have a piece in the ceiling. It does require some Okay, so Almost there There you go So it's a requires a oh, so it requires a bit of a fiddling and pressing it in so um, what I did was uh, the big cable with the big plastic lump, just uh, put it through the sort of ceiling there and a bit to the right. There's a space, you put it there. Now with the rest of the module, because everything comes out here from the right side, what I did, you don't have to use any of this. What I did is just pry it somewhere here. Yeah all the cables in here. There you go. Okay, now, since the module was there, you can still see it. Get rid of all these crazy cables here. Now what I did was grab a, a zip tie and attach the module to this this metal brace here you need a very long uh, zip tie but you can just tie it around that's what I did okay, so just being busy with the tie wrap put everything back there Okay, as you can see, the tire is in place around the brace. Just tighten it like that. It doesn't have to be super tight, but just make sure that it doesn't fiddle around everywhere. Okay, there you go, it's in place. The people asking whether the glove compartment could still close. Try that out. This little guide here. There. There. Still closed. Opens. Nothing in the way. Okay. That's very good. Now to see if. Watch back on. 
Because I did have to remove that to uh, get my wrist in there. I didn't have to do that the previous time. So, let's see if uh, it still works. I did uh, unplug it. So, uh, maybe it needed a reboot. That's okay. Okay, it's booting. So, it just works. Success. So I hope this video helps you out, you guys. So I hope you guys can now enjoy your CarPlay kit and fit it without too much hassle. Uh, I've just shown you, it, uh, it can be done in a couple of minutes, but you need to, uh, you need to be a bit uh, accurate with your uh, fingers, let's just say, uh, keep it at that. So if, you, if this video was helpful, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.